Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am finally here with the monthly sheet load showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see what my team of collaborators has created with the February 2022 sheet load of cards. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. It feels like forever since I have been here with one of my normal monthly videos. Usually I like to get the sheet load showcase out between the 12th and the 15th of the month, and here it is already almost the end of February. Well, this month was a little extra busy for me, and I will talk about that here in just a minute, but for now, what today is, it's a chance for me to share with you a look at the cards that my collaboration team created using the latest sheet load of cards. Now, don't forget, as always, you can see their cards by clicking on the hashtag on the title here on YouTube. Or if you use that same hashtag over at Instagram, you can see what the Instagram team has created. I do have both of those searches in the description box below for you to check out. Now I have already seen many of you sharing videos and images over on Instagram using the latest sheet load. Don't forget if you're going to make a video or share on Instagram to use the two hashtags at the top of the printable. I always love to see what you're creating. In front of me is the set that I created for the month. You get a peek at it at the debut video where I tell you how to download the free printable. And then of course in the monthly process, I show you how I made them. Both of those videos are linked below if you haven't got a chance to see them yet. Now let's talk a little bit about why I've been kind of absent so far this month. I have been super busy and a little bit nervous. If you haven't already seen it, over the weekend I did a live presentation at Brandy Mayen's Card Maker Success Summit for Cat Scrappiness. Well, it was live and I knew the audience was going to be big, so I have been trying to prepare and get my nerves ready for it for a while now. Well, it finally happened over the weekend, and I have to say I think it went pretty well. I am in love with the card I made for it. Now, if you weren't able to see that, I do have a link in the description box below. That is still available because it was a special live event from a sponsor. I know that the rest of the Card Maker Summit, unless you got that VIP pass, you can no longer see it. The second reason that I have been busy and it's super exciting is I have my first bundle out with Not Too Shabby. Let's go ahead and take a look at that a little bit closer. In front of me is my Abstract Botanicals Stamp and Stencil Bundle that I have designed in coordination with Not Too Shabby. I have shared peaks and videos here on YouTube, and I will have that playlist linked in the description box below. But I was busy getting ready for the launch of this. I shared a couple live videos, a couple teaser videos, and I'm so excited that it's now available for pre-order. So this bundle is a 6x8 stamp set and a two-pack of 6x6 stencils that coordinate with it. You can get all of the details on how to pre-order it, hear about the exclusive class, and get a discount code in the video linked in the description box. I am super excited about this bundle and I can't wait to share more with you using it between now and the end of the month when the pre-order period ends. Thank you to everyone who has already placed their order. Your support is overwhelming and so appreciated. Before we get back to the showcase, I do have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you and welcome to my newest paper trimmer member, 
Arlene Bergman. Thank you so much for your support, Arlene. Thank you as well to all of my channel members who keep me here crafting and sheet load free for all. If you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Here in just a minute, I will start sharing photos of my collaboration team cards. Don't forget if you want to see any of them close up or get more details, everybody is linked in the description box below, or once again, you can use those hashtag links. Let's go ahead and see what they created. First up on the YouTube channel this month is Biddy Penny, aka Toby. Once again, she has used the sheet load sketch as inspiration and she actually stretched her cards out. I love the different papers and those die cut wildflowers. Yvette of Yvette Olea Creates has created this gorgeous set. I really like the muted look of her pattern papers and how instead of that sentiment strip across the middle, she has used some twine and then cut aparts for her sentiments. Danny of Danny's Dreams once again has wowed me with her coloring. Not only did she pick out some fun papers for her cards, but just check out those watermelons that she colored. Chelsea of the Creative Chelsea channel used a rainbow paper pack from Stampin' Up! for her cards, and I am in love. I love the bright, fun colors, and you know that I also love a rainbow. Teresa of Fresh and Renewed with Teresa created a set of six super fun cards. I just love all those cute focal points, especially that little envelope up in the top left. Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts created two sets this month. Both use the same sentiment and focal image, but they use different pattern papers. I think they are so cute and I love that punny sentiment. Next up is Amalia from Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia. Her set is featured in the thumbnail this month. I like kind of the vintage feel of these and how she has added the little ribbon details. Debbie of Project 39 Mini Albums created this set of gorgeous cards. I love that big bold sentiment and that beautiful wreath. Karen has created another set of birthday cards with the sheet load this month. If you didn't know, she does give these away monthly to her local nursing home. And I just love how she has used some cut aparts for her sentiments this month. Up first on the Instagram team is at Craftaholic Mama, aka Stacy, and she has used some fun Doodlebug products for her cards, and she created Valentines. They are so adorable, and I love the little added enamel embellishments. Barbara, who is at One Busy Bee on Instagram, created this set of six cards. I love that house plant and how she has used that same brick pattern as the background for all of her pattern paper strips. If you have not yet been over to Instagram to see Noe Me's, aka at AZ Crafty, you need to get over there. These cards are just so fun to look at anyway but they actually move. Sandy, who is at Stamp with Sandy, has used the Stampin' Up! Rainbow Paper too. I love the different patterns she chose for the background and that big, bold rainbow focal point. I just love the rich look of Jessica's cards, who is at Jessie Kate Creates, with that mostly black and white background, and then the sentiment cut from a gold metallic paper. Just gorgeous. Lisa, who is at Scrapbook Girl on Instagram, created this set of cute cards. I really like the pastel background papers, and I am in love with those 
images, especially the ones that are kind of floating in the air. And last but certainly not least is at Fuzzy Slippers Designs, aka Mariah. Her gorgeous cards today feature beautiful papers and that butterfly focal point. And if you look really closely, you'll notice that her mat for the pattern papers is another pattern paper. Don't you just love to see all of the cards together? I know that I certainly do. Now, if you haven't already dropped by their videos and Instagram posts, I hope you'll do that now. I know that they would appreciate you stopping by, seeing what they've created, and leaving them some love. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.